Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts is uncertain to play on Saturday versus the Cowboys due to a sprained shoulder. You saw it happen during the game where he got driven into the ground. Looks like you know that's the prototypical way quarterbacks separate their shoulders. Got up slowly, but according to league sources, uh, may not play on Saturday. Nothing beyond that now, well, but that is a major blow. The fact that Dallas lost and blew that game to Jacksonville makes this a much easier pill to swallow. Sure they does. are in a great spot. They're three games up in the division. They're three games up essentially for the number one overall seed because Minnesota's two games behind, but they have the tiebreaker. So essentially they're three games up. So they're in a really, really good spot where they can be cautious. And being cautious means why the heck would you play them on Saturday? Wouldn't make any sense. Uh, there's no benefit, right? Plus, you've got one of the best backups in the league in Gardner Minshew. <laughs> I love Gardner Minshew. I'm not, I'm not laughing. I think he's the best backup in the league. Oh, uh, Mike White's not? He's damn good. But Mike White's not the backup. He's the star. Wow. Well, he, he, he was the backup. No, Gardner Minshew fell victim to the Mike White syndrome of if he put up the numbers he put up in the two years in Jacksonville and he was a highly regarded first-round pick, yeah. he would have continued to play. I like Gardner Minshew a lot, actually. And I agree with you. I'd love him to be on one of our teams. But he's not. And, again, this is not official yet. But it is being reported that he's uncertain. Not that he's out. Not that it's long term. But we all saw him go down. Yeah. So here's how I would take this as a Giant fan. Obviously, if you're an Eagle fan, you're a Cowboy fan, you have your perspective. Well, if you're an Eagle fan, now you're like, oh my God. Well, you're holding your breath. This, uh, what, uh, uh, now, you've got the division wrapped up anyway. And you probably have the number one seed wrapped up anyway. Most likely, I agree. I mean, well, you that's... really. That's well, the question for a Giant fan, right? Well, that's that's what I'm bringing up. Yeah, I didn't you, get you to it. You need that to be wrapped up. You don't want them to need that game. Well, there's two the things. The there's right. two. That's so right. if, he, if, they, if he's out and they lose a couple games. Yeah, there, there's right. two if the impacts. Cowboys get back into it where they could win the division. Right. Right now they can. Right. Well, not but, even not even just that. You want, as Big Mac said, Week 18 to be irrelevant. You want them to have number one wrapped you up. You don't want Week 18 to mean, all right, they just got to beat the Giants and then they have it wrapped up. The other negative and I brought this up earlier, and I really don't think it's a pipe dream, is the fact that you could catch Dallas for five. Well, That's very me, much in the air. So you want the Philadelphia Eagles to beat the Dallas Cowboys on Saturday for multiple reasons. I, I Let me just throw out uh, a, a counterintuitive thought to that, just for the sake of the conversation. Which aspect? Okay? Of, from a Giants perspective, you want Philly to wrap things up. Do we agree that Philadelphia right now, but prior to Jalen getting hurt, is the only team you could really say head and shoulders better than everybody else, unbeatable by the Giants. Is that fair? They feel like the best team in the NFC. Yeah, right I think, now. and that's not a stretch. I think we all feel that way, right? Dude, they're thirteen and one. Isn't it better for the Giants if he's out with a bad separated shoulder? Because now, you what are we be, talking about? You I mean, beat anybody. I mean, if he's out, out, like yeah. for the rest of the year, out, yes, yeah. But, but that's not what we're talking about. I don't we're know talking if that's about plausible. the. We're talking about the aspect of that game not mattering. So it's not I'm just saying, the quarterback who may not play. There's a lot of guys who may be pulled in the second let, half. Let's say if the Giants don't need that game to get in, which is on the table right now, there's a good chance they won't. They might. Right. Good chance they won't. Right. If the Giants can get in without needing that game to get in, you want Jalen Hurts to be out. Well, of course. That's yeah. You, you want to weaken the strongest team, of course. Yeah, but that, right. I don't think that seems to be on the table with this injury. This seems like more of a short-term See, I thought injury. I separated it when it happened. Obviously, I was wrong. It but. seems like it's a short-term thing, so that's why it makes sense for Philly to be conservative over the next three weeks because they want to make sure he's ready for when this yeah. season starts to matter the postseason. But I think there are two factors. Number one, Week 18 being irrelevant for the Eagles. And number two, you could catch Dallas. It's absolutely on the table because the Cowboys are playing three teams in a row who are playing for something significant. Yeah. Philadelphia to wrap up the number one seed. Tennessee who's trying to hold on to the division. And then Washington in all likelihood week 18 is playing for their postseason lives. And how about this? Christmas Eve, the Dallas Cowboys are now favored by six. So it moved to six. I'm looking at it right now. Wow. I think initially Philly was favored by four, weren't they? It is a, or three. That's a ten point swing. That's wow. crazy. So you know he's out. That's disrespect for Gardner right? Minshew. Yeah. I'm sorry. How I mean, about come that? on, about it. Just acting, for the team in general, not Gardner Minshew. They're acting like he's this a putz who can't play the position. It really is. 
It really is. I, I think, think that's says crazy. more about the thought that the Cowboys are going to rebound defensively against the backup quarterback after giving up a 40 doesn't burger it also to prove, Jacksonville. Doesn't it, and this is a good topic for your show. Doesn't this also prove that Micah Parsons was wrong? Write it down. Micah Parsons did this whole thing about, about how is he a system quarterback? He's a system or, quarterback. Yeah. If he's such a system quarterback, why did we just see one of the great point swings in the history of football? I mean, doesn't that prove that right. Vegas disagrees with you, Micah? Now, did anybody uh, get Dallas plus points? You're feeling pretty good right now, <laughs> you right? Would. So, I mean, that's the line tells you that he's out. Yeah. Right? I don't he know should, where they get the info but from, he, but that's what they're telling I think you. also logic tells you that. They're 13-1. and one. Right. All they really need is a victory somewhere, and it's done. Right. And it's over. Well, so may, you've got what the What if Saints, they don't get that victory? Well, uh, Who you do they play? They play New Orleans at home. Well, Dallas first. What's the order? Dallas uh, on Dallas, Saturday. New Orleans at home. Oh, and then really obviously good. the Giants. Right. Wow. And, oh. oh, don't rule this out. If the Giants beat the Vikings this uh, this weekend, Go ahead, play that it out. helps Philadelphia because they're the team right, chasing right. them for the number one seed. Right. Oh, it's a whole thing got crazy now. I just think that because of Patrick Dallas, Mahomes is, just won the MVP. Because it's not necessarily he missing a game or two should not uh, screw him out of the MVP. That's ridiculous. Uh, uh, now Patrick Mahomes would be the MVP anyway. That's I think besides it's down the point. To two. I don't think missing a game against Dallas should be the end all be all. But really, what this shows you is that that loss by Dallas to Jacksonville was as brutal of a loss for them as possible. Yes. And it allows Philadelphia that wiggle room of, eh, let's give them another week. Let's give them another week. And that was a pick six off of Noah Brown's hands. Like, he had it. Yes, he it did. bounced off his hands, and then Jenkins picks it up. Yes, takes it to he the end zone. Did. And the Cowboys, who had a 17-point lead late in that game, late third quarter, mid-third quarter, somehow blow this game. And that's the team we have to worry about, Chet fans, the Red Hot Jaguars. And imagine this. They are if Red the Hot. They, they York, might win that division, by the way. If the freaking New York Jets had just been as bad as they needed to be two years ago and Trevor Lawrence is the quarterback instead of Zach Wilson, we're thinking about the Super Bowl right now. That's a true story. Say that again? You heard oh, what I sure said. I heard you right there. Hold you on heard what I said. I heard the words Jets and Super Bowl <laughs> in the same breath. I if apologize. New- I was distracted there. My son got into college. So oh, go nice. ahead. Congratulations. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to announce the college or no? No. Okay. No, he's choosing. If the New York Jets got a few on the a few on the table. It's good to have choices. Yeah. If and this New- college really likes them a lot, they're offering them a whole bunch of money. Nice. I like that. I like that. Gotta lead towards that I believe we go there. <laughs> Can't get there, but I believe we go there. If the New York Jets were as bad as they should have been two years ago. The New York Jets was bad as should two And got ago. the number one overall pick. I got Trevor pick. Lawrence, all right. We're thinking about the Super Bowl right now. I mean, to be fair, though, Trevor Lawrence, I guess the the proverbial light bulb went off. Yeah. About a month ago. Is that yeah. fair? Six weeks ago. And he's balling right now. He was now. always better than Zach Wilson, though. I'd say he wasn't. But it wasn't pretty for a year plus. I agree now. You know, it's funny. Everyone was saying about a month, maybe five weeks ago, oh, it looks like Justin Fields is the best of the second-year quarterbacks. I understood why. You know, he's playing his ass off. Right. Trevor Lawrence is a stud now, isn't he? Yeah. He made a throw on the run to the right yesterday and threw the ball about 40 yards on a rope for a touchdown, rolling to his right, which is not as easy as you think. He also committed a brutal turnover. That he, almost did. Cost him. No, no, he did. He <laughs> did. He did. Now, but over he's the last sometimes we can play over the last five weeks, he's playing at an insane level, and they've put up a ton of points the last two weeks against Tennessee and Dallas. So, and it's going to be a big challenge. If for the we Jets. take our our innate New York hatred of Philadelphia out of the mix, are we rooting for Jalen Hurts to get better or not? Well, that's like how what well, benefits the Giants? No, Jalen Hurts being. You want them to wrap it up uh, no, like Big no, Mac said, right? No, no, they got to wrap it up. And I think they can wrap it up without Jalen Hurts. They're no, a no. really good team. They're going to lose co- to the Cowboys. Well, why do you say that? Why? Because the Cowboys are world beaters? No. The Eagles can run the football. They've got elite wide receivers. They have an incredible Jalen secondary. Hurts is that good? They can get a pass rush. They can. St- no, he is real good. But what about all the other things I'm saying about the Eagles? Is that not true? I don't think they beat the Cowboys. I think they will. Of course you do. Why? Because you're wrong about your picks all the time. I'm actually uh, 11 out of my last 12 with picks. Are you? And I've run away with this. There's no recency bias. What are you overall? I'm like 47 and 32. Are Pretty you having good. a good year? Yeah, I'm having a good year Good you. Having a good year. You're damn right. <laughs> oh, my man. Yeah, I've run away with it. That the blind book. squirrel did find a nut. Well, it was close for a while, <laughs> and then I went on a deep run, and these guys are just... Well, your run's recent. Dust. 
There's a recent run. Because if you had 15 games over 500, yeah, I was, and you've won 11 out of 12, you were 500 for I most was, of the year. Here's the truth. I was 500 yeah. basically the entire yeah, season. That's fine too, and over the way. last three weeks, just got red hot. Well, don't get cocky. I'm not cocky. Stay focused. No, but my first thing goes just like that. No, no, but my first reaction is, and this isn't from a betting perspective, it's from a football yeah, perspective. Yeah, from a Giants that, perspective, what's the best thing for the Giants, selfishly? For the Eagles to win plays. on Saturday? No, for the Eagles to win on Saturday. I agree with you. Let's just stay, but, stick right there. They want them to win Saturday, A, because it wraps things up for Philly, but also, besides just making the playoffs, which the is cool. the Cowboys back to them another step. You can catch Dallas, yeah. and I want you to picture this, Giant fans. Picture this, because right now, oh, they can't beat the Niners. They can't beat the Eagles. Maybe they can't beat Minnesota, which is BS they can. Can you beat Tampa Bay? Because if you could jump up to that five spot in the NFC, you'd be matched up against the washed-up fossil known as TB12 and that decrepit Buccaneer team, one of the worst coaches teams in the NFL. Um, Do you want that? In fact, uh, listen, I'll speak for Craig when I say no, this. You don't speak if for me. you guys get to the five seed, Craig and I will take our show on a road trip to Tampa, Florida for Giants Buccaneers. Who's with me? Yeah, the last time I did a show in Tampa, it was from a Hooters, and there was a eight-month pregnant waitress. Pretty hot, though. Sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are not taking our show to Tampa. Why not? Because this company's not paying for us to fly to Tampa, and I am not driving with you to Tampa. Let sorry, me not speak sorry. to the bosses that be. Well, you have all and the juice will, around this place, so go ahead. Well, I'll convince them. I'll remind them with the uh, Giants station, uh-huh. the flagship station for New York Football Giants. That's right. And I'll remind them that Big Show Bobs need to be there. Yeah, but we're going to do a Sunday show? We'll give them a or special. Or a Saturday show? We'll give them a special so show. So we're going to do a day of game pregame show. We'll find like a hot sports bar in Tampa. Yeah, done. There you go. We give them a freebie. We'll go to Ebor City. Sure. Right? That's uh, the downtown area all the clubs and bars are at. Right. Or we'll go to Mons Venus. Do the show from there. And then we go to the game. We're not going to the game? I mean, I'll probably just come home. <laughs> but uh, you, if you want to go to the game, I get it. I yeah, we go that. to the game. I will not go to the game. How would you not go Unless to the game? Unless it's on a Saturday. Well, then that look, that's the key to this whole thing. Is it yeah. a Saturday or is it a Sunday? But if the Giants I'm can work. I'm Huckleberry. I'll it, go to a Saturday but they, game. They got to work their way up to five because Craig and I have no interest in going to Minneapolis or San Francisco. Oh, I'm not going to either one of those No places. offense. Not happening. No. San Francisco is a depressing city to it's be in. It's also a really long trip. Too long. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm with you on that. That's my issue. And it's not close enough to L.A. either. That's a hike. San Francisco is better than L.A. No, it's not. L.A. is a dump. How could you say that? Because I've been there. It's just over. Yeah, you never you've been to Santa Monica. San Francisco is better than L.A. Oh, I don't know. Oh, because well, I forgot you're a bougie wine guy. San Diego is also better than L.A. San Diego, I'm with you. on. We're in a total agreement. Love if I'm San ranking Diego. California cities, L.A. is in the bottom. You've never two. been to Sacramento. Yes, I have. When I drove past it once. Yeah, it doesn't count. I drove through Kansas. I've never been there. All right, so fine. I've never been to Sacramento. Yeah, I don't know. I, now I got a question. If you've ever been to Sa- San Francisco, I have. The Super Bowl was in Santa Clara. Where'd you stay? When they when it yeah. was in the Bay Area, the Super Bowl, the yeah, stadium, yeah. no, we, is not in San Francisco. No, I know, and I didn't go. Which to is this. so stupid. Yeah, we, me and my wife was like, we were. Was that our honeymoon? Yeah, it was our honeymoon. Oh, is that the honeymoon where you got to stop at a bunch of Met Road games? <laughs> it was in January. It was not okay, Met Road check. games. <laughs> Wait, what did we do again? Because I could see you doing that on your honeymoon. No, nah, nah, honey, nah, I've nah. mapped it all out. Diamondbacks game, nah. Giants game, Dodgers game, Padres game. We went to, Woo. we were supposed to go to Hawaii, and then she got scared of Zika, even though it wasn't in oh, Hawaii. But we were being scared. No, real. rightfully yeah. so. And she was pregnant. So we wanted to make sure, okay, no issues. So we went to Vegas, Seattle, Portland, and Long Beach, California. It was a fun time. All right, so a little Northwest But action, we started right? in San Francisco at the Super Bowl. And you flew or drove to all these places? Uh, San Fran- we flew to San Francisco, flew from San Francisco to... Portland, drove from Portland to Seattle, okay. and then flew from Seattle to Vegas. Nice little countryside trip. And nice. then drove from Vegas back to Long Beach, California. Wow. Yeah, it was a fun time. Did you uh, stop uh, Joseph, uh, Joshua's Tree? I don't think so. Did you go to Burning Man? So Adam Sandler perform. You and Salicata. You guys <laughs> well, no. both love watching Adam Sandler in concert. <laughs> it was great. Did you dress up like the wedding singer? We did not dress up. That's what my guy did. I know he did. That's my main man right there. Oh, now you're close with him? Sally Botts. Yeah. I like Sal. I've always liked Sal. He's your guy? He's my guy. I root for that kid to do well. No, he's a good guy. Yes. Good man. Good energy. Nice. I don't know why he wasn't working today, though. What do you mean we he wasn't had, working today? Eugene Barbiera was on today. Instead Bar- of Sal. Barbari was on today? Oh, yeah. Where he's, the hell was Sal? It's a manual. I don't know. Manual Babari. It's a manual of what? A manual Babari. 
No, no, the kid that was on last night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Emmanuel what did Barbieri. I say? Eugene Barbieri. You said Eugene, <laughs> Eugene Levy, Barbieri. I think, yeah. How do you say it? Emmanuel? Yes. Acho? Babari. Babari. Emmanuel Babari. There you go. Did you like him? So it's like Babar, but more. Got yes. It. Yeah. All right. Nice kid. Babari. He's a nice kid also. Good play by play guy. Yeah. I think Very he does good. the Hudson Renegades. He does. He does. Matter of fact. Yes. Do you think yeah. he's going to apply for the Met job now that Wayne oh. Randazzo is apparently oh. leaving? Oh. Let's put a word in. Why wouldn't yeah. he apply I for mean, that he job? He should be. Except that it's, you know, no guarantee of career longevity. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Howie goes through those partners like every three or four years. Is that Howie, next, though? Next. Is that really Howie? I have no idea how that works. I'm not going to claim I do. I don't. But there's been a lot of guys. There have been a lot of guys. Next. Next. <laughs> next. 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 He would feel that way after three innings in the booth with you. That's for sure. I wouldn't last three Get innings, I'm sure. Get him out. I mean, he's a legendary play-by-play guy. He I'm is. Not. He is. I have, I have done NHL games and NBA games, but, you know. You know, who's counting? <laughs> who's counting? We should definitely do one Met game, shouldn't we? I'm begging them to let us do a Met game. How he takes an off day, we fill in. If he does an off day, I don't care where it is in the country, Evan and I will be there to do the game. Done. Done and done. Yeah. Preferably New York, Philly, or Washington. Oh, no. I disagree. Colorado, L.A. That's bad. I ain't going there for a game. Why not? Why would I? Why wouldn't you? Why would I is the question. Because it's awesome. You don't want to see Coors Field? I don't want to. Tra- I, I live there. I've been there. Why do you hate traveling? What happened? I love traveling. No, you just said you don't want to travel. I don't want to travel with you. <laughs> well, we could take separate like seats or something. <laughs> I told you the only way I'd travel with you is if we get a Winnebago and somebody else drives. <laughs> That's the opposite. You go from I don't want to travel to yeah. you. The only way I'll travel with you <laughs> is if we're stuck in the same area yeah, yeah. for 85 yeah. hours. Like two sleeping cabins the whole bit. <laughs> I would do that with you. <laughs> That'd be fun. That would be fun. The question is, do we bring these two guys? Why not, right? Yeah, I think they'd be fun. Let me ask you a question. If Evan and I said we're taking, we don't even have to take this off. We can broadcast from the Winnebago. We're driving down to Florida for spring training. We'll fly back, but we're driving down. Winnebago. Sleep six. Plenty of room for the four of us. Just, you know, extra room, that's all. Would you guys be in on that or no? Uh, yeah, pro- you'd have to give me the certain number of days and spring training. You're really okay without complicating it. Whatever. I'm it just is. saying. There's you're a difference between what? telling my wife three days and six days. There's a difference. You tell your wife it's my job. Oh, okay. Uh, that's what. Oh, that's I, right. I you forgot. say, listen, honey bunny. Yeah. I love you too, honey bunny. The big fellas go to Florida with the guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you do. Yes, for spring training and baseball. That's what you yes, that I would do. Honey. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Wait. So it's the the fact that it's baseball. It you helps. say yes. It helps. So if it's something <laughs> not of your interest, you would say yeah, no I way. Know. If we were going it's, in reality, although I've done it in twenty two hours, it's a two day trip. Let's All just right. keep it real. It's two days on the road because we'll make some stops along the way. Got to go south to the border to that Pedro. Got to. Got to. Like, That's a must. Got to go there and get diarrhea. That's a must. That's part of uh, like life right there, right? <laughs> Can't make that trip without that. Now, are you in or do you have to uh, henpeck to ask your wife? No, I'm in. I'm in. You're in. Yeah. You don't have to ask. No. She won't even notice I'm gone, to be honest Probably with you. Because the maid will be there. Correct. It's like, exactly. It's like you're the, and I, you're do, I do nothing. All right. All right. So what we need is a sponsor and we're in. Let's go. So what are we doing this for? Spring training or a giant playoff to game? To be real, I think we got to go spring training. Spring training. Yeah. You know what? What if the Giants play Tampa? I'm telling you, if the Giants play Tampa, we got, we're making that trip. Why? Because we're the... Why, why not? Why? How about this? Why not? Well, Don't I mean, answer that one. Could why see not? Tom Brady in a playoff game would be Tom Brady hot. in a playoff game against the Giants playing their first postseason game in six years. Why not? Is that... And that's in a Fox Tampa? game? Yeah, I would assume so. Yes, they will. Oh, no. We're in. Like, so Flint, we're in. We're on the sideline. So it's Giant playoff game. Forgets the Jets right now. Only if it's Giants-Tampa. Giants-Tampa. That's I'll it. say yes, we're in. And the only jet trip we'd make, because I would really want to make this one, Jets. is if they're in the playoffs. Yeah. This one I'm making, I'm telling you right now. Go. I got unfinished business there. Kansas City. I want to go. I'm in. Mm. Are you making that trip or no? Jets, Chiefs. Saturday? Saturday or Sunday. I don't know when the game's going to be. That's a CBS game. I don't have any juice with that one. Can you call your friend Boomer? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't make that call. <laughs> I'll make that call. Uh, you can make that call. I wouldn't make that call. <laughs> I, I would figure it out on my own, by the way. That's not a call I'm making. Um, all right, we'll figure it out. So Jets, Kansas City. Jets make the playoffs. Or Giants, Tampa. We go. All right. I'm in on that. That seems fair, right? Well, what if they're both playing? You got to pick one. 
Uh, now we're Jet fans, but no, to be but I fair, think for the radio station Tampa. we'll do Giants. Yeah. I agree. 100%. With, with the Giants station, I yeah. respect that. All right, so Giants, Tampa, we're in Tampa. Yeah, and we'll do like a little Saturday night party down in Tampa to be fun for everybody. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm in on that. Let's see if the magic you know, are in town. Fer- I'm curious. They have a ferry there, not too far from Tampa. Take you right into Key West. A little two hour, two and a half hour boat trip. No. Not from Tampa, it's not. Yeah, not too bad. You're not going Tampa to it's Key like West close in two to hours, Tampa. Dude. It's like the that coast. I Do you think. know what Tampa is in relation <laughs> to Key West? I mean, can you look? It's, I mean, it's not even close. It's not even. It's like different countries. <laughs> yeah, like how did you come up with you that? Because I looked from into Tampa it. Tampa yeah, like, to Key West by boat. Tampa and Naples. You got to drive and, a little bit to the boat, but yeah, it goes. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, sorry. Bro, I drove from South Florida to yeah, Key you West. You got to go across to drive. They go down the the right from that part of the the, the west ocean? coast of the. Florida down to Key West. You don't have to drive it like that. It I takes love hours. You, but you couldn't be more wrong. On okay. That. Uh, you know you can't boat from Tampa to Key West. Yes, you can. In two hours, buddy. It's the it's the ferry. <laughs> There's a Key that. West Express. I'm checking this out yeah. now. I want to see if he's right. It's not the it's not Tampa. You have to drive a little Fort Myers Beach. Yeah, but to be fair, you said Tampa. Well, it's right near Tampa. How long does it take? You going from the Gulf of Mexico to Key West? By ferry in two hours? It's like, yeah, three and a half hours. Well, now, now we doubled it. I was going <laughs> off memory. Now I'm looking at it, okay? I know it's somewhat well, I have the answer. Did you take that ferry? I've been looking into it. Oh, you're contemplating it. Contemplating you're it. The future. It. Uh, oh, for another one of those. I know why. Because what I told you was right, you don't admit it. What's that? That week at Disney sucked. No, it was <laughs> great. <laughs> That's what that was.